Hey guys, Yuri K here. Today I would like to talk to you about coconut oil. One of the healthiest foods available on the planet today and a true superfood in my opinion. Coconut oil comes from the coconut which grows on the coconut palm found in tropical regions. It is one of the primary staple foods of people who live in tropical regions and one of the primary reasons why people who live in the tropics tend to be much healthier than our counterparts consuming the Western diet. Coconut oil is extracted from the inner part of the coconut which contains the meat or what's known as the kernel. Normally coconuts take about 2 to 20 months to mature and generally speaking the more mature a coconut is the higher quality that its kernel will be. So what exactly does coconut oil consist of? Coconut oil is 92% saturated fats which consist about 60% medium chain triglycerides MCTs and about 40% long chain triglycerides. To further break it down, coconut oil is 92% saturated fat by composition, 6% monounsaturated fat, and 2% polyunsaturated fat. The structure of a fat is composed of three fatty acids linked to a glycerin chain. In medium chain triglycerides, such as coconut oil, there are anywhere from 6 to 12 carbon atoms linked to the glycerin chain. Whereas with long chain triglycerides, such as with regular saturated fats found in meats, there are anywhere from 12 to 18 carbon atoms linked to the glycerin chain. The reason that a medium chain triglyceride, an MCT, such as coconut oil, is superior to a long chain triglyceride is because of the fact that there are less carbon atoms linked in the MCT, it is much easier for the body to digest to metabolize and to utilize as energy. In fact, when consuming coconut oil, it has the ability to bypass most of the digestive process to go straight to the liver and get converted to energy to be used immediately by the body. This is especially beneficial when we are on a carb-restricted or a ketogenic diet, which is going to cause the liver to produce something known as ketones which will provide an alternate source of fuel and energy, not only for the body, but for the brain as well, which will help stimulate the fat burning process. And I have a specific video covering the ketogenic diet, which I will link down in the info box below so you can learn more about how the ketogenic diet works. Now, on the other hand, with long chain triglycerides found primarily in the saturated fats of meats, it's going to take much longer for the body to digest and metabolize that fat. It will take greater effort for the metabolization of the fat to take place and as a result some of the fat will get converted to energy but some of it will also tend to get stored as adipose tissue or body fat especially in the absence of the proper metabolism boosting exercises. Now, when we look for coconut oil to purchase, we have to be very careful about the kind of oil that we buy. We want to specifically look for cold processed and unrefined virgin coconut oil and not the refined variety. There is a big difference between the two. So with unrefined coconut oil, it's going to be obtained from the coconut using either one of two ways. One is the quick drying process and the second is the wet milling process. With the quick drying process, the meat or the kernel of the coconut is going to be very quickly dried, which is going to turn it into a harder substance called copra, which is going to be then separated from the coconut. In the wet milling process, the coconut milk inside the coconut is going to be separated either by way of enzymes, fermentation, or a centrifuge. Both process avoid the use of chemicals, bleaches, and any additives and do not subject it to extremely high temperatures which will alter the composition of the coconut. And so with unrefined coconut, it's going to maintain its natural aroma and flavor. Now here's an example of the coconut oil that I personally use. It comes from BJ's made by Wellesley Farms 
and is organic, unrefined, and cold pressed. Coconut oil by nature has a normal melting point of 75 to 76 degrees Fahrenheit and because of its extremely high saturated fat content it actually resists putrefication and becoming rancid. In fact it can remain at room temperature for up to six months without going rancid because it has a very stable nature. On the other hand refined coconut oil has gone through chemical processing using bleaching and other agents. When the meat of the coconut or the kernel is dried, it is known as copra. It is during this time that contaminants will be purified using bleaching clays. Once this is complete, the oil is going to be heated to high temperatures, which is going to cause it to lose its natural composition and most of its nutritional value. It is because of this that it's going to also lose its distinct aroma and flavor. Food manufacturers will then usually add chemicals such as sodium hydroxide and hexane in order to prolong shelf life and to increase the melting point. This is because the composition of the coconut oil has now been altered through chemical processing and it is no longer the stable saturated fat that it once was and as a result is going to tend to become putrid and rancid much faster so it has to be prolonged by artificial chemicals. In addition, food manufacturers will often add other additives, which in some cases can even convert the healthy saturated fats into harmful and dangerous trans fats. So I cannot stress enough the importance of using unrefined organic coconut oil due to its superior quality, such as this one right here, as opposed to the refined coconut oil which you often find in conventional grocery stores and supermarkets and those should be avoided. Coconut oil has a lot of great health benefits one of which is its antimicrobial and antibacterial properties primarily due to the high concentration of something known as lauric acid of which it has about 48 percent by content. Lauric acid is one of those rare compounds that are only found in coconut oil mother's breast milk, palm kernels, and in small amounts in butter fat. When lauric acid is consumed, it's going to convert it to something known as monolaurin, which is a very strong disease-fighting property. In fact, it's going to help fight diseases and resist infections, and is a good way to stop diseases and illnesses from forming in the first place. Coconut oil has another healthy fatty acid known as capric acid, which is found in small quantities in goat's and cow's milk, as well as in larger amounts in palm kernel oil and the coconut oil. It has very strong antibacterial, antiviral, antifungal, and antimicrobial properties. When consumed, it converts to something known as monocaprin, which is ready and able to fight viruses, bacteria, and fungus, such as Candida albicans, which I have a separate video on as well, and I'll link that in the description in the info box down below. In addition, coconut oil has another healthy fatty acid known as caprylic acid, which is normally found only in coconut oil and in mother's breast milk. Caprylic acid has strong antifungal properties and is known for being able to fight candida infections, especially candida albicans. In addition, caprylic acid may help benefit patients of Crohn's disease, as well as lower high blood pressure. Now, as I mentioned a little bit earlier, coconut oil is going to help give you a quick boost of energy because it is very efficient for this kind of fat to convert to energy in the body especially when performing high intensity exercise such as weight training. So you may actually find it beneficial to take some coconut oil during and after a high intensity training session. It's going to help give you that energy that you need to not only perform your exercises better, but also to help recover faster. In addition, the healthy saturated fats in coconut oil will increase your metabolism and your ability to lose fat especially in the absence of carbohydrates, such as when on the ketogenic diet. 
It is in this ideal situation when you are on a carb-restricted diet that your body is going to burn through its glycogen stores and is going to cause the liver to produce something known as ketone bodies or ketones, which I also have mentioned in my earlier video on the ketogenic diet. So coconut oil is going to be a great supplement to help provide that additional energy that the body needs to perform high intensity exercise and lose a lot of fat in the process. In fact, I know of no better way to quickly lose body fat than to undergo a ketogenic diet, especially in the presence of a lot of coconut oil to provide that energy. But again, you don't wanna exceed the amount of calories so that you take yourself out of ketosis. Again, you want to keep yourself in a slight caloric deficit to maintain the fat burning properties of the diet and of the coconut oil. In addition, the ketone bodies and the coconut oil are going to benefit the brain. They're going to provide an ideal source of energy for the brain so it can function better, think more clearly, and perform better in general. And in fact, coconut oil has been shown to even reduce and reverse the presence of dementias and other mental disorders in people. In fact, it has been shown to even help prevent and to reduce the symptoms of Alzheimer's in existing patients. Coconut oil is also beneficial for the thyroid gland because it's going to help in the uptake of nutrients by the body and especially in the uptake of iodine by the thyroid, which is an essential property that it needs in order to remain healthy. Unfortunately, in today's modern Western diet full of highly processed foods and iodine blockers such as soybean and soybean oil, a lot of people nowadays become deficient in thyroid hormone, which is going to create a condition called hypothyroidism. Symptoms can include tiredness, fatigue, low energy levels, weight gain, the inability to lose fat, and low body temperature. In fact, it's going to make life difficult just to manage on a day-by-day -day basis. And so when coconut oil is consumed, especially in the presence of iodine-rich foods, such as seafood, sea vegetables, and organic eggs, it's going to help raise your iodine levels back to normal and get your thyroid healthy and functioning well again. And yet another health benefit of coconut oil is that it's going to help improve your ratio of good cholesterol, which is HDL cholesterol, to bad cholesterol, which is LDL cholesterol. Specifically, coconut oil, as well as avocado oil, will increase your levels of HDL cholesterol and keep your level of LDL cholesterol either steady or help to decrease it, which is the most important thing when looking at cholesterol levels. It's not the total amount of cholesterol, but rather the ratio of the HDL to the LDL cholesterol. We have to keep in mind that cholesterol is essential to the body for its proper health and well-being. Specifically, it is used in the production of certain enzymes, in the production of bile, as well as helping for the synapses in the brain to fire off. Coconut oil, in fact, is so good at regulating your cholesterol levels that it is a far better alternative than taking those dangerous cholesterol-lowering drugs known as statins, such as Lipitor and Crescor, which are actually very dangerous and can have harmful side effects. In fact, studies have shown that taking statins can actually cause more harm than good and may actually increase the risk of getting cardiovascular and heart disease whereas coconut oil, which is high in saturated fats, is actually very good for the heart and for the cardiovascular health and will help to reduce the probability of getting cardiovascular disease. Studies have actually shown that people who consume a diet high in coconut oil have a far healthier heart and cardiovascular system than those that consume a modern Western diet of highly processed and refined foods.